to some of our greetings one to the other, you know, in our finale later. Since today, yeah, today is the last Sunday of the month and our second Sunday, as has been, we're trying to make this as a custom already, uh, we will have some little lunch, something. Uh, it's, not, it's not a real lunch, but uh, who likes spaghetti here? Who likes spaghetti here? And we will have soda. Okay, so I would like to preach a sermon. This is the title of my message, uh, brothers and sisters, this morning. Uh, can, can you see those of us at the back? You know, uh, temporarily we, we shall have only one TV set here, and uh, soon by God's grace, uh, because God is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Uh, we cannot have Stephanie anymore, so we will have one uh, another flat screen here. Everybody says, praise the Lord for that. <laughs> Come on, let's give the Lord a clap of praise. I would like to preach the sermon which I am about to entitle, Jesus was willing to dirty his hands. But before that, you know, uh, your faces, people have come for the first time and Abhi Abhi is here around after a year. Is it a year? Oh, after two years? You are away two years? Oh, I thought it's a year or eight months. Oh my God. I'd like us to get along each other. Let's all stand. Before we go to listen to the Word of God, we're going to stretch our lips a little bit. Let's hug somebody. Let's shake hands someone. And uh, if you can kiss somebody and be friendly and be brotherly and tell that someone, I love you with the love of the Lord. Can we all stand? Let's all rise. Come on. Let's get along. Leave out your chairs and I think here it's and go to those people whom you do not know much. And you're not meeting very uh, open with them to eat. Let's be friendly. Let's show the love of God. Amen. Let's get it off. Let's get it off. Hallelujah. And may the Lord bless every one of us. Every family of where it was at with uh, this morning. Praise be to the living God. Amen. Amen. And when you return to your chairs, don't right away sit down. Let's remain standing for the reading of the Word. Okay, brothers and sisters, I would like us to open our Bibles. Please, in the book of Matthew chapter 8, verses 1 to 4. Praise God. Amen. In honor to the Word of God, as we will read them, let's remain standing. Okay, I will lead us into reading our will from the English Standards uh, English Standard Version. Okay, you must, you may just join me as I will lead us. Uh, what the Bible is it uh, still uh, the hard copy or like like mine? Uh, is it an app, Bible app? It's all right, so long as uh, you, me, together, all of us read the Bible. Okay, I will lead us. Here we go. Matthew 8 verses 1 until 4. When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and kneeled before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Wow. God bless the reading of His Word. I'm inviting us. Let's bow our heads and close. Uh, there is this question before I will deliver to us the Word of God. If you kind of something uh, that are not very much used, I'm not talking about dirty things, okay? I'm talking about maybe physically or impliedly, we say by lifestyle. Perhaps when we get along or intentionally, when the Lord sends you, pushes you, Set, set you uh, set you into uh, in, into a situation where where you face people that are not so comely please don't turn your back around 
Don't shake, shiver, shiver and giggle and say, ay, chichiw and manakel. No kere yo. Kawar birakara, kawar tangansina pa, kawar tapos ka pa alcohol. Never. Because the one whom we imitate and try to become like is not like that. I'm talking about our Jesus Christ. Sabi mo, Tedes, si Jesus Cristo, hindi litang pili kung kien ele ta resibi. Ay kien may, ay kien man ta ataka kun ele, hindi litang disaliha. Hindi litang dili. Kabao mo no, mga kabataan, mga anak, parents, brothers and sisters, kinsa man ang muduol gani sa tuang ginoo, wako man, maksot man, limpyo man, hugaw man, di lang hugaw sa, sa, sa salina, hugaw pang kinabuhi. Nung ka ang ginoo, mitalikod siya ito. Nung ka na mi, kanang di, murag gibiglian siya, o nung ka na mingon siya, hawa, Ayaw pa doon lang ko kay hugaw ka. Now, let me share to us, ladies and gentlemen, the message, our God, the Son of the, the, Son of the Living God, Jesus Christ. In the story, in the verse that we are about to, we are about to learn, we are about to understand, we are about to, what is this? Uh, apply into our lives and allow the power of the Holy Spirit that this message will become a second nature into our lives. Second nature, here this year, uh, it will become a practice. It will become real. It will become living into our lives. Everybody says, Amen. Amen. Before I will uh, go to my, my main message, here was the story. Jesus was surrounded with many people. Everywhere Jesus went, he was always followed with crowds. Say the word crowds. Pagat na panon, mga tao. Talasukay no, at gusto din sila magkakita sa ginoan. They wanted to experience Jesus personally. Kere ka sila experience yung el poder del Dios. So, bat manada kayo ng mga hente. Now, un dia, sila daw un persona leproso yatra ka kunele. Yamira sila ni Proso. Taro ka si Ele, bien ko ni Ele. Nagahangyo, nagapangaliyo ko kayo po, nagapakilimo sa ginoo. Matod pa niya, ginoo, kung buot ni mo, limpyo hi ako. Si Kerry Oste, uhala, lim limpya ko ni Ele. If you are willing, make me clean. Now we know, find in the story Jesus is very willing I tell you every time we ask God any form of healing God is willing always to heal you brother to heal you sister everybody says praise the Lord and I move of this following act that Jesus did he didn't just wave his hand and made some oration something Oras yun ito kami, alam mo ako kung tapang crunch. Totoo, ano ba yun sa Tagalog? Yung, uh, alam, alam niya na yung ginagawa ng mga... But by the way, si Jesus, hindi po albularyo. Pag magpipray po tayo, hindi tayo gagawa ng albularyo, ha? Uh, si Pastor, hindi po albularyo. Pag mag-lay hands tayo, we pray by faith. Amen? Amen. Kung mong gawas na ganit kong laway, di lito ma ako, ha? Aksidental na ito yung soon. I'm moved. Drawn to this act Jesus did following. He didn't just wave his hands, said his word. The Lord, the Bible said, stretch his hands. Both of his hands. And touch the man. I believe Jesus did not just touch the hair of the man. Literally, I believe in this wise, Jesus must have hugged the man. Hug so tight the man as he prayed for the man. Father, heal this person. Kaya sabi ustedes, si gente ka nila proso, ang mga keri, ang mga gente nung keri si Kunele, tandiri. Now let, let me explain. Do you know, brothers and sisters, how dirty and bleeding is leprosy. 
Kung akong tempo ara, leprosy is already a curable disease. We have medicines on that. Now, flashback it up 2,000 years ago at the time of Jesus. No. Tempo di ila, leprosy was their AIDS. It was a dreaded one. It even was a taboo to be such a word, taboo word, to be mentioned in the family. For example, no, si ang mga bata, mga kwento-kwento, uh, uh, akin mga joke-joke sila, and then a word to come out from the mouth of children, ay, leprosy, the mga was shh, never say that word. Here in the house, never. It's a no-no. It's almost a sin to say leprosy. It was a dreaded thing. And you know why? Because uh, more than just it was incurable, it was communicable. Gani, see, somebody is infected. A member, a member in a household uh, is infected. That member will be taken out from the house. Sakasi kunele kabar will be placed in a colony where todo disuyo mga obat mga leproso tamen. That is why Jesus knew the feeling of that leper. There was that feeling of rejection. There was that feeling of unacceptance. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, there is this one ace we have in Acts. It is an anointing. It is a gift coming from God. That we know how to accept people, especially those that are rejected and feeling abandoned. Never ever forget such. Amen. Can we give the Lord a clap of praise? Amen. So, Lente, do you have any ideas to read this verse? Kachenabes, pas pas kita taleno na Bible? How dirty was this man? Siguro yung damit niya 25 years hindi na yun na ano na labahan. Kasi siya lang mag-isa, wala na pong asawa kong lalaking to. Siguro may anak siya. Kanyang mga anak hindi na siguro niya nakita for 25 years. The Bible was not particular where, where, where his open wounds. Kaya in leprosy, you know, it's, it will start with just a, you know, one single small wound. Kaya naman na si Kaukura. Kaya si grande, grande, ina-ina, hasta kaya si Ben Grande, it will remain and stay to be an open wound. Ya iri ya basila, kawar yan sarnas, yan sarnas ni tu yung irida, ya istase hasta kwantos dia, un simana dos timana, di ba pa kadiri? Kada mga kamayuba, nakasulay naman ang gagmay pa ka, masaman ta, tapos natugdunan o blanga, o kunya, nagkamayu yung suod, and nahimo na siyang open wound for a week or two, di ba? Pakainom doon ta, hiii! Especially if you're a, if you're a lady, you are even shy to relate that to your potential boyfriend. Now once, I, 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 biga, I, palala, unsa man ang dako ng kwarte ni, ay, ay, ano bang tanda, oi? The Bible is not very particular, but I'm, I'm a little good in my imagination. Imagination is a gift. When I read, I seem to see what the situation, maybe this man, had many wounds all over his body. Maybe he didn't have any more ears. El mga leproso, takay lang sa ilukwan. El orejas, di hindi sila tasindi. They want to lose in their bodies when a person is infected with leprosy senses. They will still have the feelings, pero el di hila physical sensation ta sa pa. Are you still with me? Amen. Si hindi ka siguro orejas, maybe the, the nose. Isang tingin lang po itong tao ng tao ito siguro. Makikita mo na yung inner cavity. Kaya nga wala nang nagbabahal sa kanya eh. Siguro, inay-inay ng tatra ka ko na Yesu Cristo, mga yung titang binigot ko nila. Kos naman si Lipuroso Taziki. Hindi si kumbine ko na yung paraki. Yee, chichi, yee. No, 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 atra ko na kaila. Kahit mantapog yung kundi ko na eh. You just imagine the situation, how the man had to go through the ordeal before he could meet the Lord Jesus Christ. But you know, because he had the sincere desire that he wanted to see face to face Jesus, God Almighty allowed him. He was there, now only inches away. 
She even can smell the breath of Jesus Christ. And there he was, bigger tears falling from his eyes. He was kneeling down. I don't know if this accurate the picture. I just got this from Google. He kneeled down, tears falling from his eyes, his body shaking. Asking in prayer, Lord, he was a little bit apologetic. Because even himself, he could not accept himself. Even himself, he was rejecting himself. Even himself, he was abandoning already his life. In the process, maybe 25 years or long, that has been his world. Hello, my tama pa dyan? That he coming to God and he said this way, Lord, if you are willing, ibig sabihin, kung gustuhin mo Panginoon, okay lang. Pero kung hindi gane, if you don't like me, okay lang. If you are willing, please, I beg of you, heal me. Jesus Christ was moved of the word and the prayer of the man. That as I said, he didn't just wave his hand and say the word, be healed. He went to the man, stretched his hand, and maybe hugged the man so tight, and the Bible said he touched the man. Let me tell you, Caldedenante, si kita gane, tandiri kita gente, ta iskui kita gente. Mas pa si akel, ta representa kita kon Yesu Cristo, nisisita at the tiempo, beginning, right this very moment, kapiaya kita. Por que? Kaya di atun Dios mismo, akel, kere kita, kida igual kunili, he never, he, he never, uh, was was feeling uh, was feeling off to anybody or to whoever approached him, especially those who are dirty. Why? Because the Lord Jesus Christ are always willing to dirty His holy hands. After all, let me tell you, taking all of our facades because we hide things with our walls, looking to who really you are, who really me of our backgrounds and our our honest self let me tell you if you agree with me we can humbly come before the Lord and stand before him and admit Lord I'm also a dirty person I don't deserve of anything best from you but all I can say is thank you so much of your grace that despite of my mistakes and wrongs how dirty and unclean I am you still love me and love me unconditionally in a nice. Let's give God a clap of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now let me shock you. Do you know this? That the Bible said so well that it is sin when we choose people whom we get along. My sister is having fun. Kabago mo mga exon, ingun sa Biblia, sala ang magpili kinsa lang yung mong amigahon. Di ko ato kay Pista Pugilong. Alo, ay hindi, hindi ko yun kung gusto kasi may ano yung kepet eh. Ano kasi pandak yun eh. Di, ah, ang gusto ko ito lang kasi mga sosyal. Ang baon ng 200 peso, yun sila ang baon nila 20. Si Tabol Bese sila, takamina, kami hindi. Tricycle, wala ba yung taxi sa Zambuang na tricycle, so social. Pobre ka si Ay, na. Si Tabolpe ka sila, kung lang na muha o gandiyo, si Tabolpe ka hindi o tamuha. Can we read this line together with me at the Council of Three? Come on. One, two, three. It is sin when we choose people we want to get along. It is in James chapter 2 verse 9. We'll read it. From the English standard, it says, Now this is from the New King, uh, this is from the King James, I'm sorry. If you have respect to persons, you commit sin, and are convinced of the law as transgressors. So, kung kita daw magpili ang tao, Respect of person. Hindi, hindi to respeto na yung courtesy honor, ha? Tay squeezer kiri this year. Kana nagapili ang bot pasabot na ning respect, binili ka nang nagarespeto. Kana nagapili ba? Pihig, pihig. 
Kung magpili ng tang tao, ino na pulong si Gino, we sin. We commit sin. And are convinced of the Lord that we are a transgressor. Hello? <laughs> Napaitao din ako ng Exod? Palapakan na nato si Lord ng Exod. Ina doon ang katupad din mo, ina. Beginning today, come on, tell us some purpose. Tell us secret. Beginning today, by God's grace, let us not choose whom we will love, whom we will accept. Palapakan na nato si Lord. Ingo na ba ipot? For God loves the entire world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Now, on the other hand, listen, it is a humble honor when you are able to show the love of God to the unlovable and the rejected. Klaro kayo na ingot sa Bible, no? Honor ese para kunaton si kita taama ka kita ta pwede kita ama dali el amor del Dios kon el mga gente hindi conviene para ama aquellos mga gente aquel rejected ba ingon pa ni Jesus sa uh, gospel unsa kon noy makuha nato nga higugmaon lang nato katong mga tawo nga higugma ko nato Pero yun si Jesus, kung ato gani yung gumaon, katong dili ang yung dapat yung gumaon, we become children of the Father. Okay, ina naman si Jesus, He loves the unlovable. The Lord even said, even the criminals, they love those who love them. Di ba? Even the thieves, they protect one to the other. Di ba? Yung mga snatchers, sinong nagmamahalan, sinong nag-iintindihan, silang mga snatchers. Pag ganun daw din tayo, we are, uh, we are no greater than them. That is why the Lord Jesus Christ challenges us to walk into a higher road. That we can be able to love the unlovable, especially the rejected. You know the Bible calls it, it is a humble honor, it is such an honor. Are you still there with me? Amen? Amen. Everyone shout, yell, say, Amen. Amen. Somebody, everyone, please say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Diba? We're very and quite familiar about the story in Matthew 34 to 40. Uh, about the goat, the goat and uh, the sheep nations. The goat nations are those from the left. And the sheep nations are on the right. The Lord commanded those on His right, but uh, condemned the uh, those who are on the left. This is how the Lord said to the right: uh, "These are the uh, the sheep nations." I'll read from Matthew 25 verses 34 to 40. Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Wow. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? And when did you see when were you sick and, and, or in prison and we visit you? And the king answered them, Truly I say to you, as you did this to the least of my brothers, you did it to me to the least. I like us to say the word the least. Konakenyos mga pinakabaho. Konakenyos akil talagang abaho. Well, you tell me, how do you rate yourself? How, how high you are? Please stop. If you are ranking yourself, rather or instead, glory to pull yourself down. Okay, tablel, Senor Sita, asido kita bahol di atong cuerpo, Senor Dao. He lifts us up. But to those who whom are 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 arrogant, are lifting themselves up, the Lord abases. I bases them down anytime. You want promotion? 
You want development? You want progress? Be willing to humble yourself. Yeah. Are you still there? Yeah. Taka talaga yung mga tao, sabi, sabi niya, Lord, kailan kami nagpakain sa'yo? Kailan kami nagbigay sa'yo ng tubig? Kasi sabi mo, inuhaw ikaw. Panginoon, i-explain mo daw sa amin, kailan ikaw nakapunta sa preso at nabisita namin? Kailan ikaw nawala ng damit? Yung hubot-hubad ikaw na nabigyan ka namin? Panginoon, hindi namin talaga maalala, please. Help us to understand and Jesus smile on them. Sabi niya sa mga tao na nasa kanyang kanan, ang tawag niya doon sa kanila ay sila po yung mga nasyon na mga tupa datapwat, sabi niya sa Tagalog, nung ako'y, uh, sabi niya, datapwat, nung ito'y pinagmalas ninyo sa mga mga tao na nasa pinakamawaba talaga ang kanilang buhay. Ibig sabihin, these are the unlovable and this Uh, these are the rejected. Sabi ni Lord, you did those to me. Amen. I'm not very sure. We are in the process of prayer. Kanina umaga, God talked to me. I'm in prayer on this. Kasi ang gusto ko ha, uh, by God's grace, if we will engage in this, hindi lang fat, tuloy-tuloy na, at saka mayroon talagang bunga yung ministry po natin. Dito sa Sambuanga, ang taas na po ng rate ng mga infected po sa its IV at saka sa AIDS. May tao pa dyan? You know its IV? You know AIDS? Dahil po sa promis promiscuous lifestyle ng bagong generasyon ngayon, uh, because of that, the spread of its IV and AIDS are so fast. By the way, I don't like us to be afraid or feel a stigma on its IV and AIDS because its IV and AIDS can only be communicated by sexual intercourse, by blood transfusion and using unclean syringes. Or apat ng yun. I know all of this because I've been into different seminars. Ang, ang pang-apat po is yung pinatawa na congenital. Ang nanay na infected automatic yun yung bata na nasa sinapupo na maging infected. Other than that, other than this for, hindi po. Pastor, paano? Pag yung naupuan niya, maupuan ko rin. Don't believe that. Pastor, pag nakausap ko yung its ID, tapos harap, harap ko siya yung ganito lang, yung kanyang hininga, mahinga ko rin. Don't believe na it, it can infect you. Kahit na, ano yung laway, tapos ganito, eh, you just get a towel, and then smile. Di ba? Only this four. Now, I'm, I'm part of this. Dito sa ciudad po natin, may, ang local government po natin form uh, and organize them para mamonitor sila. At saka nagkakaawa naman ng kanilang buhay. Imagine, may tanging ng yung kanilang buhay. At saka man, ang stigma ng generation po na, ay alam, alam po ninyo yung stigma, yun na ang pagkadiri ba? Wrong information. Yung dejection nila. Kaya nga po, wala pong pwede silang mapaglapitan, kundi sila-sila lang mismo. Kaya nga, the government, the state would have to do something. Otherwise, pag makakto ang ilang ano na, ay markabahala nga lang eh. Hala, dos mag, kasi gusto, para ma-infected sila. Kaya nga, they need to contain them. Now, yesterday, ilang, ilang year na kasi pinagpipray natin na somehow, we can become a blessing to this Uh, unlovable to these rejected people. Kasi naka-aid sila dahil sa kanilang lifestyle eh. Karamihan po kasi sa kanila, mga transgender, mga bakla. Yun ang lifestyle po nila. Kaya nga, parang feeling po natin, they are unlovable, be racy sa ilang. Mga exotic, hindi lagi kita mo yung hukong. Kung gusto, ano na gusto mo hukong, ang ginoo you know, lang pwedeng makahukong. Kita dili. Okay, punta, hukman mata, we deserve to be judged. Pero God mercy us. In as much kasi God mercy us, we need to mercy others. Everybody says amen. amen. Palapakan natin si God. I was asked to speak on the spiritual matters and psychosocial. I ended leading them into an inner, inner healing. 
Sabi ng organizer, kulang talagang panahon. Sabi nila, Pastor, sana magkaroon pa tayo ng ibang panahon kasi expensive yung lugar. Three day. Pamahaw pa niyo pa hapon, may snacks pa. May cottage pa sila. It's a secluded lugar. Talagang deliberately ginagawa talaga yun ng gobyerno natin. They spending by the thousands. So to have me another time, they, they, they will have to spend another thousand. So kaninang umaga, nag-pray ako sa kanila. Kagabi, kagabi pa mga kapatid. You know, I'm falling my tears. Pinag-pray ko sila. Sabi ko, Lord, it's so amazing. How can you love these people? How can you accept these people? Sabi ko, Lord, may we be able as well to love these unlovable, to accept these unacceptable people. We want to become like you. Sana minsan, meron din tayong ganong lasting prayer. Lord, we want to become like you. So kanina umaga in my devotion, prayer, the Lord gave me something, an inspiration. Na somehow, if not once a month, going to be, uh, in a, in a once a week, once a month, magkaroon po tayo ng parang yung exclusive fellowship sila-sila lang. Anyway, we have the facility. 17 po sila. 17 po na it's IV. AIDS positive. May dalawang babae, may edad na po sila. Siguro, uh, yung, yung ano sila, I, I don't know how did he got it. How did he got it? Did he get it? Pero karamihan po sila to shock you. Mga kabataan. Mga yung ano, yung mga bakla na hindi mo, pag hindi nagsasalita, hindi mo alam na bakla. Pero may mga lalaki talaga, matipuno, mistiso, ang gagwa ko. Artistahin. El, el piliejo, liso. Makahapan tao. Porque sila ya kinaan sina. Muna mga ison, when I talk to them, when I touch the bow, you know how, how they become broken. They, they started, you know, to, to yield and they said, uh, Sana pastor, hindi lang ito yung panahon natin. Sana magkaroon pa din tayo ng time. And I waved my hand and said, yes, yes. Siguro ngayon sa panahon po natin, dahil sa medisina, wala na masyadong mga ano, libroso sa panahon po natin. Pero by, uh, by implication or relatively, may iba pang mga klaseng sakit o klaseng sitwasyon na pwede tayong magdiri sa kanila. Alam ko ninyo, may mga tao po dahil biktima po sila sa sitwasyon. May mga babae na bilibenta nila kanilang sarili. Kaya na tayong mga magulang, gawin talaga natin ang buong makakaya na mapa. We can send our children that they can finish their studies. Kahit na magbaligyan ka o saging, at, ano ba yun? Mag, uh, anything na yung ano talaga, yung uh, very strenuous na paghanap ng, ano, paghanap ng pera, tayong mga parents, all parents that hear it, do all of them. Anyway, later, yung mga anak natin, ma-appreciate may nila when we can finish their studies. It's our sacred and our solemn duty before, before our Almighty God to our children. Sa so, kayong mga anak, makinig kayo, what minyong i-fail ang inyong mga parents? Finish your studies. And one day, bless them. One day, when you will have your, di ba ate? When you will have your work, ang ganda ng tina ni ate, no? Ate Ara, si Kuya Arnold ngayon, eh. Kuya Arnold ngayon, nag-re-retire na. Tatlo sila po. Katapos sa pag-aaral, isa po, engineer. Another is, uh, nurse. Si Mamie, ano ba? Uh, covers? It's our name po si Mimi. Mimi, si Kuya Arnold ngayon, naka-retire na. Si Ate Aurin, na, tinatanong ko si Sister Delia, nag-jogging at saka nag-gym na daw. Ganoon, lahat ng klaseng trabaho, manicure, luto ng kuchinta, luto ng kahit anong klaseng maibenta ma para itong tatlo mairaos. Decently. Eh ngayong tatlo, uh, ang, you know, they are, they are being blessed. The Ara kasi is in Saudi, no? By the way, Atiara, please allow us to Berlin to just share this a little bit. Our expensive, part of our expensive uh, flat screen TV here came from the sweat of this, of this girl, of this sweet sister. That's so nice, di ba? They were able to bless the kingdom of God. Di ba? To God be the glory. Amen. So, alam po ninyo, I'm, I'm just thinking, please go with me. 
please support this this kind of burden. Ang prayer ko sa Panginoon at ang proposition ko, I'm thinking of to offer this to the V uh Vida Vivo. Ang grupo nila Sister Vicky Vida Vivo. Kasi that it's HIV at saka AIDS. Yun ang kanilang grupo. 17. Kaibigan ko yung ano, yung presidente ang kanyang apil, ang pangalan Roderick. Siya po ay apat na tao na nag-aral po sa seminaryo. Umalis sa seminary sa, sa seminary kasi he found himself that he's a gay. Pumunta sa Cebu kasi may German siyang boyfriend. At doon sa Cebu, nakipagkita sa kanyang German boyfriend. He was raped by three other, uh, two other, ano, two other Germans for three days. And that is how he was infected. Kasi yung boyfriend niya na na-met niya sa, uh, sa internet, yun pala ay positive sa HIV AIDS. By the way, kayong mga kabataan, do not, uh, do not, what is this? Uh, don't make a fool of me. Na pwede mo masabihan, Pastor, mahal na mahal ko kasi. Eh, paano mo naging boyfriend niya? By text lang. Ayaw ko ilara. <laughs> mahal na mahal ko kasi. Paasan mo nakita yan? Through Viber lang. Through, ano yun? Uh, through Facebook lang. Ayaw, ayaw ko ilara. Kasi ang pinuod na guma iksuot. Dili na tungod kay na nadala na lang sa ang ganito, ganyan. Bulatik yan. Love is a decision. Because you saw the man, you know the man that is true love. Amen. Amen. Everybody else is praise the Lord. Kaya delikado na mga egsoon. Kung sa kahano, kung kalang imuhang ka-textmate, ingun ni mo, I love you, boyfriend na ni mo, girlfriend na ni mo. Kung niya, si Bin ha. Si Bin. Uso man na karoon, I wrote about it, and you can read it in Sabonga today. Or else, kanang imuhang girlfriend, magabi hi, ano na nailana, ginahitid sa iyang lawas, no? mulupad ang katunga. That's why you know that person. Amen? Amen. At saka, the best is madala mo yan sa acts. Kailangan mabunag yan muna. Amen? You will have to know, you will have to know that you know Max, sapagkat yung yung pinopormahan mo ang iyang lola na taga si Kihor ang ah, <coughs> Kasi lahat na taga si Kihor, lahat na mga si taga si Kihor, may ano yan, may mga ang may, may mga kargayan. So, my our intention and my prayer is this. Admittedly, cooking is a gift of Sister Delia. Pareho ang sila ni Brother Noon at saka ni Sister Vicky. Eh ngayon nga, huwag tayo kumuya after sa service ha. Ah, hindi kayo makatikit sa sarap na ano, uh, spaghetti ni Sister Delia. At saka may coke tayo. Kisa itong hihidlaw ang coke, kasi sipilahan wala ka na may coke. I climbed down after our class and went to the canteen. I said, Ate, can you give me Pepsi? Ay, Pastor, Mr. Nice Guy, tawag niya, Mr. Nice Guy, sorry, wala na kaming Pepsi. No, I'm not to Pepsi, eh. I'm not to soft drinks. Si Sina has a canteen. No, I'm not to soft drinks. Oh. No, I'm not to Sahara. Bawal niya si na, is, na, ko, na, na, depend. Sa chip. Na, na, ako na si chip. Chip, chip. Ay. Ya, ang lang umigo, busca, Pastor, steam. Hindi pa ko ganahan ng steam. Na, na, yung mga fruit drinks ka ron. Pakuli na ako sa balay, kina ako si Stedelia. Si Stedelia, please you buy me Coca-Cola. Palipan niyo ko isa kalit ng chip. Well, hindi ko na ako boss, brother Noli. Ay, may, may soft drink style. Siguro lulutuan sila ni si Stedelia. 17 sila at saka organizer. We say 20. Yung discipleship kasi natin, we are strengthening it. Every Monday, may nag discipleship At saka the rest of the days, gradually siguro. And then, magkaroon tayo ng ibang separate service para sa kanila. Na, sana, sana man lang, bago sila mamamatay. May tanik na kasi kanila buhay. Sana, sana man lang, bago sila kunin dito sa, sa lupa. Meron man lang nagpakita ng pag-ibig at saka concern sa kanila. Hindi lang ang gobyerno. Kasi ang gobyerno, yung pinapakita ng ano yun eh. It is hypocrisy. 
yung ano, yung pag-ibig na pinapakita sa nila yun dahil may bayad sila. At saka yung gobyerno, ginagawa nila yun para hindi sila mag-spread ng lagit. Ang ibibigay po natin sa kanila is yung tunay na pag-ibig ka rin sa Panginoon. Pero may one na ko sa inyo ha, kahit kamo mga gabay, makakita niya mo sila ha, do not feel like crush. Hindi na yung man sila gwapo. Kanya, kanapoy mga bayad, kita mga lalaki din, you know? Uh, ulamano lang at saka is different, no? Kasi these are different people. So we need to also minister to them in a different way. Not in the general, not in the general way. May tao pa dyan, amen? Now, part of my message is evangelism. Kinahanglan, mudala na yung mga bagong kalag sa ginawa. No? Thanks God for all of those that are bringing, bringing friends and bringing classmates and bringing neighbors. To God be the glory. Let's keep it up. At saka, mas, mas damihan pa natin, mga kapatid. Now, there are these two things I would like to praise. May tao pa dyan. Amen? Amen? Here we go. Never hesitate or feel wasted when you invest your money to the lost. Pag, mag ano kasi tayo, mag bring kasi tayo ng gospel sa iba, we bring souls to the kingdom of God. Money always, money is always involved. Itong food ngayon, it costs like 2,000 plus. Meron kasi isang sister, sabi niya, Ati Dels, tutuan mo yung mga members sa church, ha? So, nagpadala siya ng 2,005. So, yung kain-kain natin ngayon, it costs. Alam ba ninyo na dito sa lupa, wala pong libre? Amen! Amen! You cannot go to some circle, hey, because we are a church. Libre yung kuryente namin. Ilang beses na tayo naputulan. Sa Dernoli, no? Kasi fail tayo on, on time. Pero this time, hindi na tayo makaputulan by God's grace. And we're saying, amen. Amen. Ha? Hindi tayo makasabi na tubig po natin libre. Dami ko kaibigan sa water district. Dami ko talaga. Makaklasi ko pa. Kahit na yung, ano, yung teller, Kita nun sa lahat, Pastor. Gumagano nun yung patampat-tampat, Pastor. Pastor. Yung tamay, tapat-tampat tayo. Ang sinat-sinat tayo. Pastor, iwan mo na yung ano. Huwag ka na magtila nun. Kay Mom, thank you very much. Ganun tayo by God's grace. Ka-bless to Him be the glory. But never po akong pwedeng makapagsabi sa 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 ano sa sa water district na tiwala lang tayo ha. <laughs> Hindi. Yung landlady namin, naging close ko po. Naging uh, protege ako nila. Uh, hindi. Sila, hindi pala protege. Yung, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm their, uh, I'm their arm when they are around here. May mga bank accounts po tayo, pero hindi po tayo pwede makapagsabi kay Mrs. Mrs. Gonzalez na level lang si Pastor dyan na hindi. It costs. Kaya we have the tithes, we have the, the offering. Every single centavo is being well accounted. Accounted. They are not misspent. Now listen, never hesitate or feel wasted. Say the word, feel wasted. Messiah. Yes. Oh, to be honest to you, nagyo ko yung attitude na, ay, di mag-go po ito, pero ka nang, for example, no, di ko mag-tricycle, eh, sayang ba? Pwede man nga, maka, maka, maka jeep. Tapos pag mag jeep ako, 5 pesos lang itibayan ko, kasi 5 lang man dito sa ano, patungod ko sa ano. Hindi nga talawa si Stedelia, chik. Sweet, taga, ikong 5 pesos, di na, bayan din na, di na, taga, ikong 5. Ay, bayan din na, di na, ikong 5 may gusto niyo. Ikong din na, di na, kasi bayan ko, kasi pag pay ka din po, 20 pesos, di ba, brad? Ada 2 weeks, oh. Di ba, since hindi akong tigo 12 pesos, Mumpong na pagayon ko sa iyo. Nga nang eh, pabayad mga mga 2B. So, 3 pesos lang yan. So, what? You know, come, come to think of it. You know, usahay ko, sigod ko na akong pagalingan, ikaw, yun, ikaw, yun. Kasi you think of how the Lord is blessing you, ba? But I'm talking here about the kingdom of God. Two verses. Ecclesiastes 11 verse 1. The Bible said, Cast your bread to the waters, for you will find it many days. Say the word bread. I didn't hear louder say bread. bread. Bread is our money. Waters, these are the people. In Revelation, the waters are the people. 
tayo ay nagbibigay para sa evangelism, huwag tayong mag-hesitate at saka mag-feel wasted. Why? Because after many days, say the word, after many days, after many days, it will, it will come back. Di ba? Patis lang, siligar yan kasi na agwa, sumiman siya. Na kwanto ora ni Manu? Talutan siya? Gagrande yan! Kay, yan saks yun agwa, no? At sina daw, si mandali kita na work the Lord, it will come back to us, but already be here. Amen? Praise God. And another verse is in Isaiah 55 verse 2. Sabi ni Lord, Why do you spend your money for the which is not bread and your labor for the which does not satisfy? Uh, so, bakit daw usikusikan daw natin yung pera natin? Oo. Oh. Ilang, ilang beses tayong naglulog sa isang simana, asang araw, 30 peso by 30 days, 900. Usik yan, na Tapos, anli-anli lang ta, hi, hello, and fine, thank you. <laughs> Pero, pag invest that tayo sa kingdom, let's not feel wasted. No, let's not hesitate na feel wasted. At hindi lang po money, it's also time and life. Pag pupunta tayo nga sa church, let's not be feeling wasted of the time. Dugaya sa Simba. Kay ba ako mga ikso, it took me how many years as the Lord trained me to concise man sermon. 15 years ago, if you can hear me preach, I preached 90 minutes. 1 hour and 30 minutes. I, I used to be a boring preacher. Ngayon, my most sermon is 45 minutes. I'm doing it. Why? Because... I don't want that you people will dislike me. I want by God's grace, I will be relevant. But para gani sa Panginoon concerning sa time, at kahit na nga life, alam po ninyo mga kapatid, hindi tayo dapat sasayangan basta para sa Panginoon. Amen. Taas na natin yung kamay po natin. Let's sabihin natin Lord kasi mahal kita eh. Uh, Palagpakan na natin si Lord. Okay, this is the second and I'm almost done. <laughs> Never fail to give your best shot in your lifetime to bring souls to the kingdom of God. For there is no second chance in the second life. Sabi po sa Luke chapter 16 verses 27 to 28, the answer, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family, for I have fine brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. So yung tao ba sa story ni Lazarus, yung uh, at the Abraham's bosom, sabi niya kay Abraham, nag-pray na siya. Kasi yung lumala pa sa lupa, at dito kasi sa lupa, hindi siya nag-pray. And doon na siya sa, sa impyero, doon na siya nag-pray. Tarugali, Abraham, Father Abraham, sino kiri o stay kumigo anda na, na mundo ulit para pili ka kanila, India, India to maga angeles taro gagadle. Ingo na gino. I I do not need to send angels to tell your brothers and sisters that there are there is hell. There is a uh, uh, there is uh there are the prophets, there are the apostles, the holy men that preach. So siya gusto mag preach. Ang ibig ko sabihin po dito mga kapatid, habang buhay po tayo, ibigay po natin yung todo natin. Best siya na mangaral sa salita ko ng Panginoon. Kasi we only live once in this world. Amen? Hindi po pangalawang beses. Para sa sitada sila El Gato, Chene, Siete Vida. Por eso ang mga hindi tumaagwa, tumasangre kung El Gato. Kasi ayaw mo ha? Amen? Ha? Mga bisaya. Di na tinungod dito kakinabuhi ang itang sana. Kiri. Unang mga taga-bukid ba? Panahon gani, Gerdi Santo, muihaw og iring itong. Itong yun. Itong ang lawas, itong ang mata. No? Kunya, ilang gulgulo ng ilang liog, no? Kunya, ino na. Kaya para magka, magka batong ko, bito ka kinabuhi. So nahulog sa hagdanan, ay, hapit ko na matay, biro ko na matay, isa na ka. <laughs> nahulog sa lupi, kaduhan na. <laughs> Hindi, sinibirasan ha? Amen? Tiyan na kita ang bida kinamundo. Amen? 
Kan dia ada sayo ente no. Alto kan disuyu, disuyu kuat, disuyu asangri. Uh, Andi tanto 170 lang brother Noli, 100 over 100. Pinang pi pray ko siya. Sabi ng doktor, meron no siyang blood clot dito sa ano, 65 years old. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we will be healthy. Pero darating talaga ang panahon, nalilisan yung ito natin, tumundong to. E bago yan mangyari, kapatid, dadala at dadala tayo ng mas maraming pasakit na bigat. Hindi po nasasayang pag binibigay po natin ating buhay para kay Lord. You received the word of God this morning? Let's give God a cloud of praise.